Hey everyone, I'm Sugawada from Animator Supporters. I started this nonprofit organization in 2011, and we have been trying to solve animators' low payment problems since then. Our projects are mainly running a dormitory for rookie animators and constructing new animation producing systems. With the previous video, I told you what the animator's low payment problem is and what the animator dormitory does to improve their situation. If you want to know more about our dormitory project for supporting new animators, please check my first video. Also, I will leave the crowdfunding link for supporting new animators in the description below, so please check that too. Back to the story. There are a few factors with animators' extremely low income. I told you one of them, being their incomes depend on how many keyframes they can draw last time. This time, I'll tell you why their environments are so difficult in the first place, with a broader perspective based on how animations are made in general. With the most common way of producing animations, we use a large part of our budget when we create an anime. So if it's not a big hit, we end up with massive budget deficits. In order to prevent that, animation studios don't make anime series which are funded by only one company. Instead, they collect funding from several companies, such as TV stations, movie companies, ad agencies, publishing companies, and some huge production companies. This production committee style is the most common one when it comes to the animation production process. This system is needed to avoid risks, but there are also cons with this approach. For example, the budget from production committees to anime studios aren't enough most of the time. So anime studios tend to have massive budget deficits. It is said that one out of four anime studios have this problem. That's why animators are often treated poorly. In addition, animators don't receive bonuses, even when the anime they made becomes really popular. They can't get bonuses in general, since the production committee receives all the profits. So they don't receive even a cent. Although making animations with production committees is a really common style, it is needed for avoiding risks. However, it is also one of the main reasons that animators are treated unfairly. One of the biggest problems of animating is that the budget production committees provide to anime studios is very low. They end up paying a fourth to a half of the amount necessary. This is the main reason why animators receive such a low salary. For example, when you watch anime or buy anime related products, in most cases, these profits only go to the production committees and not towards the people who worked on the anime directly. As you can see, production committees don't provide enough funding to these anime studios. That's why it is said that one out of four anime studios have a severe lack of funding. It's fair to say that when animation studios aren't given a sufficient budget, animators end up having to work long hours with little pay. We want to change the situation for animators. That's why we decided to stand up for these animators by starting a project with a new animation production system. Thanks for watching the video till the end. That's all for today. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. We will try our best to respond to your comments through our videos. The dorm is operated thanks to the help of donations from our supporters. If you are interested in information about our crowdfunding program, please check out the link in the description below. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and hit the like button. See you in the next video.